So what I'm going to do today is spend a little time talking about the Kayanga EFM 300 electric fishing machine. Electric fishing is the method we use primarily to catch freshwater native fish in New Zealand. It works by producing electric current through the water and the machine has a series of batteries in the lower housing here. It passes a current uh, through the machine through into the wand, which is this device here, which needs to be in the water. It has a dead man switch here. When the machine's on and in the water, the current is transmitted to the earthing wire, which is over here, which also needs to be submerged uh, in the water. The machine is controlled by a number of switches on the wand here and also on the back of the machine, and we can transfer between 100 and 600 volts uh, through the water depending on the water chemistry and the size of the fish that we want to capture. The electric fishing machine has a number of safety features. Obviously what we're doing here is we're putting electricity through the water and that is potentially dangerous. So within the machine itself there's quite a few features here which give the operator and those people who are doing electric fishing a certain amount of confidence that they're going to be able to fish safely and effectively. So on the machine itself there are a number of safety features. There's a safety switch uh, down here which can be turned off by someone who's assisting the operator. While the machine's working in the water it also has a tilt switch so that if the machine is tipped over then it'll turn off automatically. On the machine itself there's also a safety switch which is sitting next to the operator's um, left hand side which they can press. Red button switches the machine off. On the wand itself which the operator is using there's a dead man switch so this has to be depressed all the time for the machine to work. Also on the wand, right at the tip here, is a brass fixture which must be wet and generally under the water. If that doesn't work, the machine won't work. Also, there's an earthing wire over here, and the earthing wire also has to be underwater for the machine to actually operate. When the operator's in the water actually fishing, and they have their finger down on the dead man switch, the machine will actually make a noise, it'll make a beeping noise. And there's also a series of red buttons which are turned on here. So these are all additional safety features um, to make sure that everyone's safe when we're actually using the machine in the field. So now that we're actually going to uh, start to do some, some electric fishing, We'll usually be doing this in at least pairs, two people, possibly more. Uh, it's really important to make sure that everyone's got good waders, good rubber footwear on. Um, sometimes you can get really small leaks in, in your waders that actually will not affect you. You won't get an electrocution from that. Um, however, it's also important that people who are nearby, who are on the banks, are not holding on to any metal objects, they're not standing on waratahs and those sort of things because when we start putting a current through the water uh, the electricity will move through metal objects. It's also extremely important not to put your hands or bare skin in the water when you're actually electric fishing. So you can see here I've got my earthing wire in the water and that can be draped behind the operator and when I start to fish what I'll do is put the wand in the water and depress the dead man switch and we'll start to have an electric current. As I say, usually there would be a team of people here and the operator would indicate that they're about to start fishing. So they might say fishing and when they're finished, they say off so that people know that there shouldn't be a current in the water. So, fishing. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a beeping noise at the present moment. That's another safety feature to tell people that the electric fishing machine is on, do not put your hands in the water, don't put any skin in the water. I'm not really going to go into fishing techniques here, but you can see that I'm actually moving the wand from side to side here. 
that's an important uh, procedure if you want to capture fish that are under the bank, under boulders and that sort of thing. You need to move and move the wand um, with you.